What's going on, my PT peeps? My Walking Dead family, my fighters. I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead Season 11 Part 3 teaser trailer. Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. Well, as you can see right here, Daryl Dixon has a Colt Python pistol. Is that the same gun that is Rick's? Well, I guess it's Judith's because she is the one, the last one to have this gun. There could be more than one, that's for sure. But I can't wait to find out, will Rick show up? Is this foreshadowing that he comes back around? I hope so. But the trailer starts with a bunch of walkers going towards somewhere. Is our group hurting them, hoarding them, grouping them, gathering them, whatever you want to call it, is our group going to use the walkers against the Commonwealth? Then we see the Commonwealth soldiers patrolling somewhere with a human skull body there on the ground. So I'm guessing this is nowhere near the Commonwealth and it's probably the Commonwealth soldiers going after our group. Then we have stuff throughout the trailer this fall, which says that it's going to be a fall show. Is it August, October? We'll talk about that at the end, the fight. So this fall, the fight to finish begins. Shouldn't be ends, the epic final chapter. So this fall, the fight to finish begins the epic final chapter. So it should be end the final chapter, right? Because it's the end, the last chapter. But either way, we see the Commonwealth soldiers looking around. We see Daryl and Maggie. Daryl has a Commonwealth rifle. Where did Daryl and Maggie stay? Did they go to the Meridian to hide out? Makes sense, right? Then we see this walker tied up, strung up. Kind of reminds me of the walker in uh, World Beyond. But ultimately, where is this place? Is it the resistance? Are we going to finally see what that's all about? We see Shira inside, I'm guessing, Carol's apartment. There's a sneak peek clip where Carol is talking to Judith and Gracie inside this similar apartment, so it makes sense. So ultimately, we see Mercer probably talking to Negan, and we see that Mercer is saying, all right, let's begin starting the whole interrogation process. And we all know that Negan is going to be involved with the Commonwealth. People don't know who Negan is, though. He's been hiding. We see Jerry inside the Commonwealth with, I guess, RJ, Judith, and Gracie, and a bunch of Commonwealth residents. And as Jerry looks back, the next scene is of Shira and Ramon something. Are they going after Jerry, Judith, RJ, and Gracie? Because it makes sense. Lance has to be going after the group at the Commonwealth, especially if he can't find Daryl and Maggie and so forth. And we see Negan laughing at Mercer. He's like, you know who sent me here. Well, if you're getting stuff done, Mercer, then why am I here? Don't worry, I'm here to help you out. And it should be great, Negan at the Commonwealth. It's something we don't know about because that does not happen in the comic. We see Ezekiel and Princess being escorted by the Commonwealth troopers. Are they arrested? Because that ain't gonna go well with Mercer, his girlfriend, Princess. I mean, come on, she'll be set free. And then we see Eugene hugging Rosita. And I wonder what's going on here. Probably they're worried about Coco and or Father Gabriel. It makes sense it's Father Gabriel because he's been gone for some time. We don't know if we're gonna get a time jump early on in part three. We're probably gonna get at least one time jump in part three. So we'll have to see when Father Gabriel comes back around. Then we see what looks like Carol taking off the skin of this walker. So I'm not sure if they're just trying to kill the walker or we're gonna see the Whisperer skins again. And we see Aaron looking on. Is he involved with this whole thing here? Is he in danger? I still feel like Aaron has a high probability, possibility of dying in this part. We have to lose somebody, right? Well, we don't have to. And then we see this shot here of Daryl with a Colt Python pistol. Is it setting up Rick's return? Can't wait to talk about that at the end of the video. Then it ends with Lance with blood all around him, staring at his coin. He's like, there's a way out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out. And that's how it ends. The Walking Dead, the final episodes, fall 2022. So what does that mean? When is it coming back? Now, per the TWD Universe spoilers, they write, The Walking Dead returns October 2nd, starting the final block of the series eight episode finale. So that has not been confirmed. Not sure if it's that or not, but it could be October. So let's talk about this for a little bit. This has got a lot of people talking. I can only imagine the conversations like, oh, it's confirmed. See, Rick's there. Well, Rick has not had this gun since season nine, episode five. And the last person to have it is Judith. But is it foreshadowing Rick's return? Is Daryl going to go after Rick in the spinoff series? Hopefully it's answered. We're still waiting and waiting and waiting. It takes me back to season seven when Daryl gave the gun back to Rick. 
But again, the last time we saw anybody with this gun is Judith in season 10, I believe. I can't remember if she had it in season 11, but the last time I can really tell in season 10, episode 16. Now she could have had it in season 11. I just didn't find it. Please let me know the last time you saw the Colt Python pistol. I was hoping to see a glimpse of it here in the weapons bags that Mercer had with Daryl and Rosita for Sebastian. I just didn't see it anywhere. But there you go, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. Support the PT channel when you can, however you can. The easiest way to do that is to subscribe, like the video, share the video, spread the word about the PT channel. Either way, thank you very much. We truly appreciate all the love and support. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love